All right, so it's Wednesday, and uh, I'm going to go through my books real quick. Uh, so, uh, anyway, got quite a few this week. Not not as many as I did, uh, because all the stuff that I cut last week wasn't put in my files. So, uh, you know, awesome. Uh, I got my shortage from last week on Supreme Blue Rose. Uh, really disappointed the series is going to go away. Uh, from what I understand, Trees is also going to go away in March. So, uh, I don't know if Warren Ellis has got something big that uh, he's planning for them. But then uh, I got my uh, got my Infinite Crisis. Uh, really enjoying this series, um, and uh, can't wait to read this issue. Uh, you know, it's basically a multiverse story. Uh, reminds me a lot of the. Uh, I need to go back and get the. Uh, also saw that the old old Infinite Crisis was uh, solicited, so I might need to go back and check that out. Got. Uh, Number three on 13 Coins, Simon Beasley book. Uh, wasn't a huge fan of number two, but it did kind of get the story rolling. So uh, we'll see uh, where this 13 Coins goes. Uh, only a couple of people that I see reading this, but uh, it's pretty decent. Got uh, this uh, Rumble number one. Uh, didn't really want to get it, but uh, uh, my comment guy threw it in my files. So... Uh, I'll check out number one, see what it's about. Uh, the art on it looks pretty, pretty sweet and disjointed. All right, uh, got Manifest Destiny. I didn't know this was coming out this week, but I'm real happy to see another issue of this. I thought they were on their little hiatus thing, but maybe they were, and now they're back. Uh, yep, boat's moving on. They're dealing with Indians. I'm sure that uh, we're going to run into. A, oh, this looks like it's got a little bit of a. A little bit of back at the White House thing going on with Jefferson. But, uh, yeah, Manifest Destiny. Got uh, Drifter, uh, number two. I wonder who did this cover. I really like that cover. And I like how, uh, how much purple there is in this book. I know all the time I say, you know, what a huge fan I am of purple. That underwater shot's awesome. Uh, but, uh, I don't know who does that cover. Anyway, uh, got number four on uh, Rotten Ruin. Really liking this series. Uh, and uh, see how it works out now that they've decided that uh, it's basically about this group of people that uh, were trained to samurai to fight zombies in this camp. They escaped from the camp and now they're on this farm that uh, has shielded themselves from the apocalypse, but they take all their women and they're using them for breeding. Uh, and. Uh, it's been a pretty good book. The art on it is real clean, you know. But, uh, yeah, really enjoying that. I dropped V-Wars, but I kept Rot to Ruin. Uh, I didn't want to drop all my Jonathan uh, Jonathan Marbury all together. Uh, got number, uh, number f the final issue on uh, the Godzilla Cataclysm. Uh, so, uh, apparently, it's just going to be all fighting. There's some big, sweet shots in this book. Um... Uh, Hope that uh, Colin Bunn goes back and does some kind of other uh, kanji type book because uh, I really enjoyed this. Uh, he could even do another Godzilla series. That would be awesome. That one looks like it's set up to kind of have a continuation. Uh, got Wayward number five. Uh, I look I look forward to this more than anything else every month. Uh, that, that freaking picture is awesome. Um, wow. There is just some good art in this book. Good story. But, uh, yeah, Waiver number five. Looking forward to Zub doing that Red Sonya uh, Conan crossover, too. Got uh, number two on Shadow Show. Uh, Mighty W. Uh, Ray Bradbury stories uh, done by different um, authors and artists. Uh, this one's done by Neil Gaiman. Uh, doesn't tell me what the story name is. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's got uh, good stuff in the back of it, talking about, uh, like, different Ray Bradbury stuff and uh, breakdowns of, you know, different stuff. It's a really good book. I really enjoyed that first issue by Joe Hill um, about the... About the Loch Ness Monster, chant monster thing that uh, was terrorizing children. 
That was freaking awesome. Uh oh, Annihilator number four of six. Um, still haven't still haven't read my Annihilators, but uh, got two more issues, and then I'm gonna sit down and uh, read the Annihilator all together. So uh, yeah, Annihilator. Then uh, I feel like it must be Christmas because I got uh, Sandman Overture, which number four of this year. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is a uh, this is a nice little present. Uh, love love everything about this book except for the fact that we've only gotten four issues since January. But uh, it's funny. I remember that being uh, one of the first titles that I put on my pull. Uh, upcoming pull for this year um, got number two on the kitchen uh, I kind of liked that first issue because of the fact that they were treating the uh, treating the wives all bad but I believe the wives are fixing to go all good fellows and start handling business and that'll be freaking sweet uh, got number two on terrible lizard uh, Colin bum book also uh, basically about a guy that is working on um, like transferring stuff throughout realities and he ends up with a dragon and becomes like his daughter's pet and it's just a really cute book I think that uh, people with kids would probably really really enjoy this terrible dragon with their kids and then I got my uh, fight like a girl from last week that I got shorted on that's kind of kind of bent up but uh yeah got it so uh I enjoyed uh, Mercy's review on this, so I guess I'll go back and read it. Also, kind of a kid's book. It's funny. It's got a dinosaur in the back, too. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get off here and uh, I guess get around to reading some comics.